just a stone's throw away from the Vliss headquarters and the dock where the research vessel Simon Stephen embarks, one can find the Vliss Marine Station Ostend, in short, named MSO. At MSO, four warehouses serve as a satellite laboratory, a storage for equipment and as a technical workspace. This Flemish infrastructure is used by marine scientists, marine training programmes and European infrastructure networks like LifeWatch, ICOS and EMBRC. Warehouse 1 contains two conditioned rooms with seawater, a large one with big fish tanks and a medium-sized one with smaller aquaria. They act as experimental controlled environments for research on fish and other organisms. Warehouse 2 hosts all the laboratories. Next to the LifeWatch and ICOS labs, there is a laboratory fully equipped to perform environmental DNA analyses and a brand new lab dealing with marine plastics research at the macro and micro-sized level. Warehouse 3 is mainly a working and storage space. Here, the Rib Z-Cat and ROV Zuna Bloom are stored and maintained when not at sea. Besides a technical electronics workshop, this warehouse gives access to the core repository, a 70 square metre sized cold storage for drilled sea bottom cores. Currently, Warehouse 4 houses the main robotic centre and offers additional storage space. In the two neighbouring buildings, one can find offices for Vlis technicians and other employees. With the support of the Flemish government, Vlis is expanding its lab facilities on the neighbouring grounds. This new so-called ocean innovation space will be a compact three-storey energy-efficient building with the look of a Scandinavian maritime warehouse. Next to several technical and electronic workshops, the ocean innovation space will house cold and freezer rooms as well as laboratories, a biobank and a digital experience space. The second construction phase aims for additional new testing facilities for the Marine Robotics Centre, laboratories and offices, a storage and workshop for maritime archaeological heritage research, a STEM lab and space for public activities and trainings. A seawater pump station provides the laboratories with water straight from the nearby North Sea to be used in the mesocosms and in the robotics test bath. The first phase of the construction should be completed by mid-2022, more or less at the same time as the InnoVocean campus. The Marine Station Ostend is getting ready for the future.